Hi, it's Chris with Implied Music, and it's Gizmo Sunday. I'm here with Cymatics Deja Vu. It's a sort of a tape emulator, tape speed. Take it down by an octave. Take it down by two octaves or more. Bandpass filter it. Set the loop length to sync to your you know DAW. It's just kind of crazy and fun, and it's another great free plugin from Cymatics. I already love Origin. Am I going to love Deja Vu? I made a little piece. I've been playing around with it today. Take a look. Take a listen to this. I've got um, four Deja Vu windows open here. There's uh, a Deja Vu on kind of, not every track, but nearly every track. Let's just listen to this. It's a little bit of a minute long, and it'll give you a sense of like what's possible with the instrument. Here we go. <laughs> Here's the interface. And um, as you can see, it's got a big red window in the middle, and that just is going to show you the audio as it is processed by the plugin. Very important is the mix knob. And as you can see, I've had I have the mix set to a little more original audio than processed audio. I'm going to turn it all the way over to the processed audio. There's considerable lag or delay as it processes it. But here's an important set of buttons just below the red window. 1.5. This is actually transposing the note that I'm playing down a fourth. Basically, it's the fifth of whatever you're playing. You can think of it that way. So I'm playing a C, and you're hearing a C, <clears throat> and also a G. Now, obviously, if it was actually 1.5, it would not be a G. It would be a G flat. But, you know, you have to say thank you, I think, because honestly, it would be very irritating from a musical point of view to have it be a G flat. So I just switched to 2X, which means an octave. An octave down. 4X. Two octaves down. And it's not just you know, two octaves down. It's also... So it's like a tape effect where you're slowing something down. Now, obviously, that would just get out of sync like mad at a certain point. So this set of buttons up at the top resets the loop start. Eight bars, you're going to get... a lot of effect. I'm going to let go. It's kind of like a Frippertronic sound, isn't it? I do like that. If you set your computer's clock quite slow and then played fast, you'd get a very nice Frippertronics effect. And to that end, I just want to note that there's a bandpass filter down below. So my original effect is actually being um, sort of filtered by a low cut and a high cut. Another really useful thing is this ability to cut the dry signal outside of the, the bandpass. So right now I have that set. So it's 
very pretty. So I do like this, this uh, fourth below effect here. And smoothing helps us out a lot. Now, here's something that I discovered is very, very useful. If I set the 1 16th looping setting, I actually get a little rhythm. Every 16th note is resetting its loop, so I get like a little pulse. I can play as fast as I want. On the left and right of the active window, we have a fade in and fade out. So let's say I'm, I have the effect that I like and I'm playing. And I want it to fade out over the course of, let's say, a measure. Here we go. So now I just have my dry signal. Let's fade it in over the course of two beats. And of course, you can automate that. Now, depending on how you have your smoothings set, you'll get a different effect. Like if I set the smoothing in a negative value, you can hear what's happening. It's sort of pulsing. And that's a slightly different kind of pulse. I'm not exactly sure how to describe the difference between positive and negative, but they're different effects, aren't they? As an example, listen to the classical ensemble, the vocal ensemble, and listen to the pulsing effect that we have on it. And then fade out over two beats. It's a nice effect. I'm really hearing the pulse in an interesting way, and I do like the band pass. If I just change the band width of this, I'll get a very different effect. And, and while we're looking at the controls and listening to the sounds, let's listen to what I've dropped in on the, uh, the psychedelic pianet and the African kalimba. They're both doing somewhat slightly different things, and they're mixed, so I'm hearing a little dry signal and a little effect. Here the kalimba is actually generating a kind of a polyrhythm because I'm using it on a sand. And here the pianet is really just thickening creating something kind of like a hyper version of the psychedelic warbling effect. I did like using the uh, send on the kalimba because it allowed me to drop an effect and then send that effect to another instance of deja vu. So it becomes pretty intense. Listen to the complicated interaction of the parts. <laughs> takes me back. I used to have this Shona Umbira record that uh, I have to say influenced me an awful lot. Well, Cymatics has uh, kind of done it again with a very sort of functional and interesting plugin. I've only just picked it up this morning and started playing around with it. You've probably thought to yourself, I wonder what it would be like on drums. I can tell you it does funny things to drums because, you know, it, the, its timing is a little loose. We'll just put it that way. I can imagine um, controls that would allow me to vary the pitch of the tape deck in perhaps a few more interesting ways or even warble the pitch, but then you could probably do that with uh, Cymatics Origin, send Deja Vu through Origin. What's that going to sound like? I'm definitely going to try that. Lots of interesting possibilities here. Well, I hope that was fun. Like and subscribe. Ding the bell, you'll be notified when I do my videos. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.